Ah, safe and sound. I look mournfully over the remains of my suit. Oh yeah, she said it was old and like brittle and it was about to fall apart. Poor thing. Suits are expensive, but it lived a good long life. And my bra. I never thought I'd say my bra before ever, really, but... Though let's be honest, that lacy thing was never going to stand up to some real wear and tear. Not that it was at risk of encountering much of that. Man, I've been going for an hour, and I'm just now starting to feel it in my throat. This train of thought got weirdly depressing. Here you go. Hmm. I wasn't sure what to get you, so I sort of picked it out of my own taste. There aren't any regular clothes out here either. Do you need me to run to a shop and buy you something? I'm so busy staring at the pair of lingerie, I almost forgot to answer. No, no, I have something. In the locker there, by the entrance. I'll get it in a moment. I peel off the remains of the suit, which is falling apart faster every minute. And my poor destroyed undies. What? <coughs> I don't usually wear things this nice, admittedly. Oh, but working here, I thought. No, I just don't have an occasion for it, I suppose. Maybe I'm giving away too much. That's not very professional, Hannah. No, I still have to get my clothes. Oh, boy. Um. Sorry, it'll just be a second. Oh, wow. Uh, I just need... Whoa. Oh, crap. Sophie whistles. What is going on in here? Should we come back later? There was a slight wardrobe malfunction. What kind of points are you racking up on the first day, Jasmine? Already undressing her in the back room? Clearly, I should have volunteered for that job. Not anything like that. She knows what happened. I told them. She's just being stupid for the sake of it. As usual. Are you okay, Hannah? You weren't hurt, were you? I'm fine, Charlotte. I just need to get my clothes. Wait. Stay like that. Come here, both of you. Hmm? Where are we going? She gives me a confused look as she follows Sophie out of the room. What's happening? Why do I have to stay half naked? Is this a test so they can see how long they can make me stand around my underwear? Even if it is nice underwear. What are they doing out there? I hear giggles and a slight squeal. Um, let's just hope they're not trashing the place or stealing from the register. I probably should have done background checks or something. Usually that goes with the job application, but the voices grow closer again. Ta-da! Uh, what? 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 Can I... How do I... Is there a way to make that disappear? What is this? Hmm. Aren't we cleavage? I'm just sorry, what did you just say? I said, aren't we clever? Don't you like it? Sophie is something of a genius, I think. She just doesn't like to show it. Didn't think I didn't notice that shade. Subtle, but still shade. What? Hannah, you look a little faint. Are you sure you're okay? I... They all look so good. I don't even know what to think. I can't think. Have I died and gone to lesbian heaven? That's... Okay, that clears things up. Where I can finally have my sexuality realized. That clears up a whole lot of things. I'm going to take that expression in your face as a question and not a sign that you're about to pass out, okay? 
So try to listen. I had this brilliant idea. I saw how hella you looked in lingerie, and it kind of hit me. Why don't we all showcase a little product while we're out on the show floor? I mean, it is a lingerie store. Who's going to get offended by seeing some lingerie in motion in here? Right. She gives a twirl before settling between the two girls again. So how about it? It may increase sales, I think. How did she even convince the others to do this? How come I can't see Charlotte unless if I do that? Well, what do you think? Think? How does that work again? My eyes roam over them, a blush pooling behind my cheeks. This is, uh, unexpected. Wear lingerie. Um, we have work aprons. If I was the manager of a lingerie store, of course my employees would be wearing aprons. I can't believe I'm, I forced myself to say it. The words barely even sound like my own voice, like some prudish demon has taken over. No overt sexuality here. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, but there are rules as to what we can do in the store. It makes sense. I don't want any of you getting in trouble over this, or harassed for that matter. The fact that I'm enforcing any of this gives me a tiny sliver of hope for myself. The drool I feel on my chin quickly destroys that. You do have a point. None of you can say you're surprised. I told you she wouldn't go for it. No harm in trying. Besides, I wanted an excuse to try this on. How can you say no to this figure? Forcefully and fully honest. Hmm. Don't worry, Sophie. I thought it was a good idea. See, even the 11-year-old agrees with me. 11? Whoa, what? I'm 18. I didn't know... I don't know what we'll do with those lingerie sets now. Oh, don't worry. I told the girls you might not go for it. So only do if they were willing to buy something. I'm definitely taking this home for uh, personal use. Do you... This is where it gets awkward for me. Because, <laughs> again, I've explained, like, I don't curse. I usually don't say, like, over-the-top sexual things, but whatever. Do you masturbate while thinking about yourself? Who wouldn't? Whoa, conceited. Maybe I'll give you a cameo next time. I'm sorry I said anything. We do have a standard uniform style here, in the form of an apron. I found some that I thought would fit your sizes. I'm afraid it'll have to do. I'll go and get that for you after we're all back in our normal clothes. Here, I'll set these aprons out on the counter and you can put them on after lunch. I know it's not quite as risque as you were hoping. With a short enough skirt, I can make this work. Sophie, what it sounded like a challenge. Ah, with some cute panties, too, that only show up when you bend over. I can't believe I'm hearing this out of her mouth, too. What? What have you done to her, Sophie? You tainted her. No, I probably should use a different word, but nothing. She's 14. She can handle it. I'm 18. She's also starving, if memory serves. Why don't we all take a lunch break before we open up the store for the day? Looks like we have everything in place that we'll need for the day. Lunch! Lunch! Charlotte nearly jumps the size of my head and then bolts for the door. Yeah, she was hungry, so I guess I'll follow her. Jasmine nods. Are you coming, Hannah? I'm oh, sorry, I brought mine in today. I'll see you after. She nods and follows the other two out. What a day so far. Who? So we get a week with these girls to see who to hire. Hmm. Sophie, how was lunch? Shh, shh. 